Okay, this is a nice machine. We don't see many five axes this big. What is it? Yeah, this is one is a, a new Ultrix 1200 Evo. Because a new machine? It's a new machine that we just presented uh, last year at the BIM exhibition, and now we present here moving. So last time, last year was just a static version. We were just uh, collecting impression from uh, potential customers. And now here we are presenting a simulation in order to demonstrate the capability of the machine. So this is a five axis machine. So we, we, got, we got the, the rotary axis here, the yes. table here. Yes. But your head here, you got a head changer on here or something? Yeah. What's the... yeah. One of the special design of this machine is that we, you can have a, an angular head or any other special accessories that you like. That is just a story in the back of the machine. We have a two position there. And the machine can automatically correct, collect this because there is an hydraulic clamping system. So really this we can call an angular head if you like, but we can call just a, a 90 degree reversal of the full power of the machine. So By having a head changer though, does that not make the machine or the, the head and the spindle less rigid? No, no, in this way because we know that this has been designed for the aerospace market, where typically the components of the aerospace market are pieces like this or pieces like that, where you have the needs to go inside to do turning and also milling and to do milling inside with such small components, you need you can't go there with a, a ram and with a very small head because you will lose rigidity. So you use a design like this, very strong at the top, and you put a 90 degrees reversal. And we decided to avoid the classical angular head that is clamped uh, with the, the spindle. In this way, really a very strong head. We can power out 600 newton meters for this head. So it's, to it's totally versatile, isn't it, this machine? Are you, are you saying then you do your milling, but you can also do turning as well? Yes. This machine starts as a basic, like milling and turning machine, with the special Breton concept of milling and turning machine. We do not take a milling machine and transform in a turning machine or vice versa. We design a milling machine and a turning machine, and then we put together and here you can see that we have a turning bar that is separate from the milling spindle. In order that when you turn, you have a vertical, a real vertical lathe. And when you mill, you have a very real five-axis milling, milling machine. This is really dedicated to the aerospace market then, is it? Mm, this, uh, we can say that the 70% of this machine is dedicated to the aerospace. And the type, of, the type of part we see here uh, is a typical example of what you would need yeah. to be manufacturing yeah. to use this, this machine. This is just a simulation, of course, it's not a real, a real component. That one is a real component, that is a component from the Aria engine. So it's something that is really, has really flight already in the past. And that one as well. Are all typical components that can fit in this machine. How, how accurate are Breton machines? Are they this machine is very, very accurate. We are less, uh, as a precision, less than 0.01 millimeters on each axis. Okay, and lead machine and tool? Repeat repeatability is 5 microns on this machine, so it's very precise. Lead machine tools supply these machines in the UK. Is a, there is a big market for aerospace yeah. in the UK, but yeah. there is obviously around Europe as well then, is yeah, it? Yeah, and also the United States, it's in the UK, United States, a very it's one of the main marketer running faster than all the others. And, and this roof goes uh, concertinas as well for, for loading a part of that yes, size? Yes, of course. And one of the, uh, on this machine, we, we put particular attention to the ergonomics of the operator. So you can see that everything is in front of the machine. You have the tool change loading system that is there. So the operator can stay there loading and you can move the, the, control. the control in order to keep always under control the, the working because we know that the aerospace pieces are very expensive. You need to avoid damages in any way. And you do not want to have the operator stop the machine and go back, you don't know where it is. So I'm assuming you'll have uh, you, all the necessary probing for the measurement yes, of the part yes. as well. We, we can have the probing for the tool here, mechanical and laser probing. We have electronic probing for the part. We can automatically correct and compensate as, and we can also implement the last reinitial sprint that is a continuous probing system. And is this, this machine is launched here at this show at EMO, is it? Yeah, yeah. And is it ever gonna be a bigger version than this as well? This is the biggest one of this configuration. You do a smaller one too? Yeah, we do a 1,000 and 800. Uh, the, the number means the, di the diameter of the table. It's easy to understand. Good stuff. Thank you, Luca. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you.